Welcome to Kyobi BBC National Wide Service. This week, we're focusing on international terrorism. Russia suffered a cruel terrorist attack on April 3rd in the city of St. Petersburg. Unfortunately, it wasn't happened two days earlier. So far, 14 people have been confirmed dead and 15 wounded. No organization claims responsibility yet. A global note correspondent Jason Liu is having us more information back. Jason, we could hear a series of strikes and attacks happening in Russia. What is going on to the biggest neighbor of us? In my opinion, terrorist attacks always have a reason of international dispute. The suicide bombing are suspected having connection with Syria extremists. Mm, the Middle East extremists used to aim their targets on America. Why is this time they choose Russia? It is probably because America's new president is not worth to challenge. So now they are challenging Putin. Well, that's why they choose Trump. What is not show? But how about the strikes very frequently happening? I think that's because of Russia's flagging economy. So why do people stay strikes when the economy is not good? Isn't it making the country even worse? They believe it makes uh, their country better because, well, they make it happen, uh, government will pay more attention and money on them. Mm, it sounds right. So why don't we do this to rise up our salary? No, 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 no. I have wife and kids to take care of. Come on, it makes our country better. If it really makes the country better, there will not be so many rush in China making money with their bodies. Uh, you're always convicted. So why are strikes rare to be seen in China? Because we have a good system, good leaders, people all have good bosses, everyone is satisfied with their jobs and incomes. We love what we do permanently. That's why we do not have strikes. Oh uh, yes. China is the best country in the world because we have people clever as Jason. <laughs> North Korea launched a guided missile to the east of the Korean Peninsula. As we know, it is not the first time. A country leader being no shame of doing things potentially creating damage to innocents. Is it terrorism or loyalism? Our correspondent Cecilia is very close to the answer. <laughs> Cecilia? Yes, Joe, beside me is a very famous political commentator, Mr. Joe. He is very eager to have an interview with us. Good. As the missile was pointed in Japan, how does he think of this unfriendly behavior? Okay,好的,周先生,我想请问一下,就您觉得朝鲜这次向半岛东部发射导弹呢,它到底是有什么企图?呃,这不是他们第一次发射导弹了,也许又没钱花了吧。没钱花还发送导弹? 嗯,这样不是一件很劳民又伤财的事情吗?嗯,你看啊,从零六年开始,朝鲜每年都说要见面韩国。他这一说,美国就给他塞块糖,告诉他做人要以和为贵,凸显自己为老大嘛。那最近
Jason, what happened to London? A shooting attack happened in front of the houses of uh, Parliament on March 23rd. Five people were killed, including a policeman and uh, a terrorist. Forty were injured, including a Chinese tourist. Oh, we got a Chinese witness. Is she the one beside you? Yes, she is. Let us know what she saw. Okay, can you tell us what you saw? It's like this. At first, I thought I was filming a movie, but then I realized that it was a real person. What did you do? I thought I was going to run around and run around. Then, when I fell down, I hit my head and I got hurt. 呃，如果真拍电影还算是工伤哈、啊，那你是怎么知道这个消息的？回到宾馆之后，看到 BBC 之后才知道的。那遇到这么大事儿，你不后怕吗？怕啊，我怕以后都不能去英国旅游了。好、啊，就这些吗？嗯，还有法国、德国国内些啊，以后恐怕也去不了了。啊 ，OK， 那说到俄罗斯啊，这个呃，前一段时间在圣彼得堡也发生了一起恐怖袭击事件，你觉得这两起事件有什么联系吗？嗯，可能他们争个上头条吧。嗯 ，OK， 这样，呃 ，this innocent girl believes that London and Russia are competing tourism. This has nothing to do with terrorism.、Uh, does she even know what the terrorism is? 嗯，好的，小姐，请问你知道什么叫恐怖主义吗 ？Of course, keeping blind to vendors selling poisonous milk powder is the terrorism. Pay no attention. On the worsening air quality is the terrorism, and they are in charge with the house price is the terrorism. Okay, so Gao Jian, uh, Joe, she said, um, China is the best country. <laughs> nice translation, Jason. <laughs>